Flames light up the night sky outside Buffalo after a commuter plane from Newark Liberty International Airport slams into a home last night, killing 49 on board and one on the ground. Flight 3407 from Newark to Buffalo was coming in for a landing when it went down after 10 o'clock in a light snow and fog. It's still unclear what caused the fatal crash. Zachary Fink is standing by live at Newark Liberty International Airport with the latest. Zach? Jim, at least six of the victims were from New Jersey, five passengers and one member of the crew. This is the worst U.S. airline disaster in two and a half years. The fiery crash lit up the neighborhood in upstate New York shortly after 10.15 last night. The last communications between the plane and the tower were normal, not indicating any trouble. But witnesses say the plane sounded like it was in distress. Well, we were at my friend's house over there, upstairs, in his room, and I uh, heard a few, heard the, heard like the, it sounded like a prop plane coming in and it was kind of like sputtering like it was gonna uh, stall out or something like that and it was real loud it sounded like a, a, a roar because my house is nice and sealed it sounded like a roar of a thrust of an airplane when it's landing or like when it's taken off and it sounds so close to the house it vibrated the house a little bit the commuter plane took off from newark liberty and was just a few miles short of its destination buffalo niagara international airport colgan air was operating the turboprop for continental airlines all passengers on board were killed and one person on the ground when the aircraft slammed into a house. How was many houses were damaged? Survivors? One seriously damaged. There was a peripheral damage to uh, some of the neighboring homes of that address. The cause of the crash is unknown, but the flight data yeah. recorders have been recovered and could shed some light on what led to the plane falling out of the sky. Conditions were icy and airplane wings need to be de-iced before takeoff in inclement weather. The plane was carrying about 5,000 pounds of fuel, which ignited on impact. Relatives of the victims were shocked by the tragic news. I'm thinking the worst, and I'm thinking about the fact that my mother has to fly home from Florida and what I'm going to tell my two sons. In a statement, Continental CEO said, quote, Continental extends its deepest sympathy to the family members and loved ones of those involved in this accident. We are providing our full assistance to Colgan Air so that together we can provide as much support as possible for all concerned. Our thoughts and prayers are with all of the family members and loved ones of those involved in the Flight 3407 tragedy. At an event in Trenton this morning, Governor Corzine expressed sympathy for the family members. Like all New Jerseyans, um uh, we uh, mourn the tragedy of uh, Flight um, 3407 um, and the loss of life that was associated with that. Um, a lot of the details of that are still being um, investigated by the NTSB. And um, so we've been in touch with a, a number of um, officials at federal level, uh, Port Authority, New York State Police, um, and I will not be able to give uh, substantial details. Late today, those flight data recorders were analyzed and members of the crew were heard discussing significant ice buildup, both on the windshield and on the wings. And of course, this tragedy comes just one month after a U.S. Airways jet safely crash landed in the Hudson River. The passengers walked away from that flight. Unfortunately, the ending to this story was not as good. I'm Zachary Fink, live at Newark Airport. Jim, back to you. All right, Zach, thanks for that report.